Hey everyone, what's up, Newbie Snake here. How are you all doing today? All right, so the new feature limit break that I talked about in my previous video is here. Wow, it's really surprising how a few days ago they released a notice stating that they're just working on it, and now after a few days, it's already been complete and is now released. And what's even more surprising is that it's also released in the English version at the same time as the Japanese version. And along with the introduction of this new limit break feature, the special emergency mission to get the special materials needed for limit break is also released for both the Japanese and the English version. So that's actually really impressive because usually in most gacha games, the English version or the global version of the game tends to lag behind the Japanese version because the you know the Japanese version needs to have like trial and errors and need to make sure everything works properly before releasing it in the English version. But then this time for this game, uh, Naruto Ultimate Blazing, they're releasing it at the exact same time. So I guess it's actually great for a lot of you guys who play the English version because you guys are like, nice, right? We don't have to wait for one to two weeks. And uh, that's actually great stuff. But also that means if there's any problem, there's any bugs, we're also gonna go through it at, you know, uh, at the same time as well. I guess that's good because usually they compensate for any bugs found or anything, right? So this time in that case, maybe both Japanese and the English version are gonna get uh, compensated if there are any bugs or trouble during you know this release of this new feature so anyways in this video i'll be going through some minor news the new feature as well as doing some multi summons for you guys and girls in both the japanese and the english version so i'm just gonna combine both versions in one video all right so let's get started okay so now first thing let's go through some news all right so click on the notice button and you guys will see this screen right here so a lot of you guys have been, uh, you know, kind of quote unquote complaining. Some of you are just stating uh, in the comments, stating that how the Japanese version has already gotten three guaranteed gachas. You know, probably the, you know, the developers have heard you guys. They are now releasing the first ever guaranteed gacha for the English version now. All right. So when you're doing this guaranteed gacha, you can only do it once. It says for your first try only get one of the below five stars characters guaranteed when you perform a multi summon in the premium summons. Meaning the first multi pull that you do costing you 50 gems, it's going to guarantee you either the five stars Naruto, the five stars Sasuke, the five stars Kakashi or the five stars Gaara. All right. They are all six stars tier characters, meaning they're all able to be awakened to a six stars character and after that uh, you will see the regular screen again for gacha so for example if you guys don't know what I'm talking about if you click on the summon button you guys will see um, that guaranteed gacha right now and I can't even scroll down like I tried many times never mind <laughs> you just have to swipe it harder so check this out I actually tried many times before but I wasn't able to uh, you know get to the other banners probably because I wasn't swiping hard enough. But anyways, if you swipe it hard enough, you're able to get to the other banners. So that's the first news. And the second one, obviously, is the limit break feature, right? So limit break feature is here now. And also it comes with the special emergency mission. All right. So the special emergency mission will last for about another 11 days. So it will last till September 27th, 1959. PST Pacific Standard Time. All right. So one thing I find that Naruto Ultimate Blazing is kind of cool is that they align the English version's time to the Japanese version's time. So whenever the Japanese version is having the maintenance, that's also when the English version gets the maintenance. And whenever they get like um, the daily missions, for example, when they will be getting the red uh, scrolls or red ramen or blue scrolls of blue ramen, or green scrolls, green ramen, etc that's also when the English uh, version gets it. So if let's say um, on Monday, like in Japan's time, they're getting the red scrolls and stuff, we are getting it on like our Sunday, right? So we're just aligning it with their time. So I think that's cool because it actually works out great for a player like me who plays on both the versions. So I just need to know the English time right here, like the PST, the Pacific Standard Time, then I know when I'll be getting that in the Japanese version as well. So anyways, this thing will uh, be aligned with the Japanese mission as well. So uh, 1959 Pacific Standard Time, Tuesday, September 27th. And that's, you know, the equivalent of whatever the Japanese time is for this event period. 
And uh, during this event period, you can only do solo missions, meaning you can't do multiplayer missions. There's only A rank or B rank for this mission. And one of the special crystals that are required for limit breaks, like right here, it says character crystals required for limit breaks only have a chance to drop in the rank A version of the emergency mission. Meaning rank B doesn't drop the character's crystals. It only drops the attribute uh, crystal. So there are two crystals in total. The second crystal is attribute crystals. Attribute crystals may drop in either A or B rank missions, but obviously it's this drop rate is dependent on the difficulty, okay? Uh, so over here, you guys can actually see this. So the red ones are the attribute crystals. The ones with the character's face is the character's crystals. All right. So I haven't done um, a limit breaking yet, but if you actually are trying to do limit break, I believe it requires both the character crystals and the attribute crystals. But obviously I can't do it in the English version because I don't even think I can complete the B rank with my characters in this. Uh, but for the Japanese version, I'm close to being able to uh, complete A probably. I'm not too sure, but uh, with multiplayer, well, at other uh, missions with the multiplayer, I can usually complete A rank, but solo, I haven't tried it out yet. So maybe or maybe not. But anyway, so that's it for uh, these two, you know, quote unquote, bigger news. The other one that's pretty huge is this release celebration. Again, they're having it uh, at the exact same time as the Japanese version. So from September 15th, 1 o'clock PST, all the way to September 24th, 7.59 PST, they're having a celebration, release celebration uh, event, all right? So every day we log in, we can receive one Ninja Pearl and then a total of 10 pearls. The cooler part is, you know, not just that, the fact that we receive Ninja Pearls, but it's the fact that we also get a huge success chance for leveling up our characters for enhancing them like when you're feeding them the ramen and stuff so there's an increased chance of getting huge success or better all right or super success i don't know what they translated uh, to in english but uh in in japanese version it's like huge success or super success right so instead of just having your normal success right now you're gonna have a high chance of getting better success rate meaning you will either get like what 1.3 times or 1.5 times your uh, exp or like two times right so that's pretty cool um that's also happening in the japanese version as well and then uh finally for the english version we are getting the haku i'm uh, sorry my bad we're getting the rock lee event as well as the kakashi event oh my goodness sorry the haku event and the kakashi event Rock Lee event is on the Japanese one. See, I am kind of mixed up here, but you guys can check this out, right? Just click on the emergency mission and you guys will be able to find what emergency missions you guys have here. All right. So there's the hidden leaf secret ultimate Taijutsu. I think that's the th thousand years of pain. And then there's the Haku one, right? And then since this one is in English, you guys can just tap on this button and check what uh, requirements there are. All right. So that's it for all the news so let's do some multi summons all right we're gonna do one in this english version first and then i'm gonna pause the video i'm gonna go to the japanese version and also talk about that emergency mission as well as the new gacha all right so stay tuned for that new one if you guys don't know what that one is yet so here we go let's do a summon uh since i already have gara and I have 50 gems let's try to do this premium summon so hopefully i can get either sasuke um naruto or kakashi all right so here we go wish me luck you know it'll be crazy luck if i can get all three here we go here comes sasuke Let's go. see it's really funny the reason why i you know kept myself quiet was because in the english version the Sasuke squeals when he when he tries to scream his attack. You know what I'm saying? He goes, Aww. like I I can't, you know, try to pretend it, but I I just can't. That's crazy stuff. But uh, yeah. So let's see what I, uh, let's see what I got. Hopefully not another Gara. That'll be kind of sad. I actually wanna get a Sasuke, surprisingly, because his special. Uh, well, not special, but his, uh, what do you call it? His ninjutsu actually hits everyone within that 
area, right? So that's actually really useful for PvP as well as clearing missions is pretty good because Gara and Naruto is single target, right? Kakashi is pretty good too. Um, hits everyone in, within that box as well. Oh my goodness, I jinxed myself. Oh my goodness, I got another Gara. Well, it's fine. This is the English version. I uh, this again. This is my like alternate account. I focus all my energy and time and effort on the Japanese account. So yeah, that's it for this one. Now, just give me one quick second. I'm gonna switch to the Eng I mean uh, the Japanese version. All right, here it is. You guys see my uh, Sasuke here, just to show you guys my progress. I now have three. Actually, no, four six stars characters now. All the starters character, uh, Naruto, Sasuke, Kakashi, and Gara. Obviously, I just uh, awakened Kakashi to a six stars, but finally, I got all four of them. Right? That's you know pretty crazy. I got all four of them to six stars, and um, yeah, I just wish I have a higher team cost. But so far, I can only put two six stars in my team, so I just can't wait for a day when I can put all four in the same team. But uh, so that's it for this box. But I also want to show you guys the limit break button. All right. So if you guys take a look at the English version, it's also on the fourth button. There's a new button now. It's called limit break. So if you click on it, you can actually select the character that can be able to limit break. So, so far, I only have the six stars characters that is available for limit breaking. If uh, let's say I click on Naruto and then you can you guys can see this. It'll say from level 99 or well, supposedly it'll be level 100 because they introduced level 100 now. Uh, once you do limit break for the first time, it will go up to 105. And I assume every time you limit break, you can go up by five because over here it says limit break uh, limit. Basically, there's nine more times I can do this for. So if this counts at the first time, it'll be 105 and then nine more times, it'll bring us up to 150. All right, but if this one is like the one out of nine times, then you, your max level after limit breaking will only be level 145. I assume it's going to be level 150, right? It's it's funny if they put level 145, right? But uh, anyhow, uh, that's how you limit break. You click on that button, you see what your next max level will be. Okay, so this will be 105. Next one should be like 110 and then 105. I mean 115, etc. And then over here, these are the uh, required material so it's you know two three star scrolls i believe one of them will or might probably be a four star scrolls because remember they introduced the four star scrolls and i don't have that so maybe it's a four star scrolls and then over here they may be the character crystal or the attribute crystal again i don't have them yet so i don't know if i have um uh, more information I'll probably share with you guys, all right? But if you guys have already gotten the limit break characters, then feel free to comment down below so everyone will know what it's required, okay? So that's it for limit breaking. And also, if you want to uh, awaken, I think that's also where you can awaken the scrolls as well. So you guys can just click on the scroll right here, and then boom. So for example, if I want like a four star scroll, then I'll need five of the three star scrolls. And then currently I only have four of these, so I'm missing one to, uh, in order to awaken it. So technically you'll need like six scrolls because I have five in total, but you need to awaken one to become four stars, right? So you need six in total. So you click on one and then feed it with five. Originally, we thought it's going to combine the five to make one, but apparently not. You don't combine them. You feed them like they're a character. So that's it. That's the two uh, feature that I talked about in my previous video, talking about this limit break new feature. And uh, I just showed you guys how you guys can actually do it, right? So let's click on the emergency mission before I do my multi summon for this Japanese version. Uh, oh, I also forgot one more thing. Uh, that's really cool. Just take a look at the notice uh, section if you guys are playing the uh, English version. Every single day from now until the event end date, I believe, again, for 11 days. Um, I, I, You guys got to check the notice, notice section in order to find when this period will be, all right? So for this period of time, every single day, we'll be getting the Get Rich Quick event right here. This, you know, the, the frog wallet one, as well as the all type scrolls event all right so it's only limited time offer uh, every day from 
I forgot the PST. I believe it was like from 8 o'clock in the morning to 11 o'clock and then 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock at night or something like that, okay? Uh, maybe I'm wrong because it's 9.36 p.m. right now, my time. But I, again, just click on notice to find out the time. So there's only 23 minutes left for these two. Every single day uh, during specific hours, we'll be having these two uh, missions coming out during those specific time periods, all right? And this will only last until this whole celebration campaign ends. And I totally forgot to address that earlier, but you guys can check that out in the notice section, all right? So that's it for that. And um, yeah, the English version didn't have that earlier. So for this specific part, maybe it's different between the English one and the Japanese one. All right, so for the Japanese one, we're having this Zawuza one uh, again, but it's new to me because I still haven't completed it yet. And also we have the Rock Lee one. So Rock Lee one gives us 18 gems in total. Zawuza one uh, gives us 22 gems in total. So if you guys, are wondering what these requirements are uh, it's the following the first one you need to complete the mission with only yellow type attribute units the second one you can only complete it with the purple type attribute units thirdly you need to complete the whole mission with characters that are costing you 28 team costs or below all right per character so let's say uh, Kakashi causes 27 then you can equip another Naruto for like a 27 cause etc all right so same thing for A rank and B rank, and also for Rock Lee over here. The first one, you would need to complete the mission with blue type attribute characters. And then the second one, oh, sorry. The first one is green type attribute characters. Second one is blue type. Third one is red type, all right? So you need to complete with only green type, only blue type, and only red type in order to get these gems, all right? So you get one gems for the first requirement, th three gems for the second, and five gems for the third one for the zabuza one it's the same again sorry for jumping around because you know i just suddenly thought of going through the, uh, these ones with you guys right it's a uh, three gems for the first requirement three gems for second and five gems for the third one all right so now let's move on to the gacha one all right so over here we have you know awesome stuff they're introducing a rasengan naruto but this is not the Shippuden Naruto yet. This is still the kit version where he just first learned Rasengan. And I'm really happy he's a blue type character because I've gotten all the types that I need, right? Basically, I have uh, Naruto, which is red. I have Sasuke, which is green. I have Gaara and Kakashi, Kakashi which is uh, yellow. And then I also have Zabuza, which is purple. But I'm missing a blue type attribute character. And uh, I believe he can be awakened to a six stars all right i i remember i read that somewhere okay i might be wrong but i i, I think i'm pretty positive on that but for uh the new temari and the new kankuro they can only become a five stars max but uh yeah so correct me if i'm wrong on the six stars part i'm pretty sure i i've seen it somewhere before recording the video but anyway so rasengan naruto right here and uh, he only has a three percent chance of coming out but still um it's a pretty good chance right better chance than having one percent chance so hopefully i'll be able to get him um you know what he does for his rasengan technique he buffs his own attack by 50 percent for the uh, first three turns or for three turns and then also within his range he's gonna attack one character uh to do to deal three times his damage so that's his um ultimate i mean that's his ninjutsu and over here temari uses aoe damage it deals 2.4 times damage to everyone within the range of her ninjutsu and also there's a 10 percent chance success rate to stun the target like to immobilize the target for two turns and then kankuro what he does is he deals three times the damage to one enemy within the range of his ninjutsu and also there's a 60% success rate to cause slip damage to the enemy for five turns so yeah that's it for uh the new gacha right here and this will only last until september 20th 1959 so let's do this we're gonna do uh, a multi summon hopefully i get naruto please you know with my luck in the Japanese version, I'm usually pretty lucky. So hopefully I get him. If not, I really don't know. 
Come on out, Sasuke. Oh, this is scary. Yes! And let's have Sakura too, join in the battle. No? Ooh, a gold, alright. I think having Sasuke means it's gonna have a gold one. Let's see. Ooh. Will I get him? Will I get him? Maybe I'll get like a Temari or Kanko. I have a feeling I'd, I won't be getting him since, you know, Sakura didn't come out, right? But hopefully I get him. If not, I'll probably grind until I get um, another 20 gems or 19 gems. And then I'll be able to get... And I'll be able to do another multi-pull. So we'll see. I really want that uh, Naruto because I want him to do some Rasengan. <gasps> Here we go. What? When, what? When was Haku included in this? I mean, I'm pretty happy because he's blue type attribute unit. And uh, I actually wanted to pull him in the original one. This is the one that can go to six stars, right? So I'm actually really lucky. Like, to be honest, that, that's pretty crazy, guys. Out of all the five stars and I got Haku. And I missed out on this Haku during the five... I mean, or during the Heavens banner. Now I literally got all the six stars tier character like the initial ones right the four starters and Sabuza and Haku I just don't have Neji Rock Lee and the summon Kakashi and uh the current Rasengan Naruto so anyways once I get 50 gems I'll probably do another multi-pull on this trying to get uh Naruto and I'll probably record it and show you guys and sorry for this longer video I originally was thinking whether or not I should split out both the Japanese version and the English version but then since they're both getting the exact same update like right after the patch except for these event missions and gacha I thought I would I should just combine them right but uh, if you guys are finding it too long or you know if you guys want me to separate it I'll separate it next time and just make two videos but I just didn't want to repeat myself on both videos because it's too redundant so for this one specifically I just thought of combining both of them and one last thing before I let you guys go is uh like during the past I don't know like few months or so I finally got like about three comments you know wondering why I put that English tag or ENG you know in parenthesis tag in my video title but you know after having like what almost 1.7k subscribers i've only gotten three inquiries so far so that's like less than zero point i don't know how many percent but anyway so apparently some people or three people or maybe more but never commented are probably confused why i put the ing title but if you guys remember back in like one year ago i <clears throat> i do tutorials on japanese games right like the puzzle fighter or whatever the street fighter one and then the naruto shinobi collection and other stuff they're all only in japanese so it's you know it's pretty obvious that the ing tag is to indicate that this video is in english because a lot of other people are making tutorials videos walkthrough for foreign language games like like these uh, gacha games japanese gacha games they're making it so they tag it in like you know parenthesis fr for french parenthesis sp or esp or spn for spanish or espanol uh, ch for chinese etc etc right so for me tagging it with uh parenthesis eng it's just to indicate that my videos are in English. It's an English guide for those of you guys who would like to understand the game. It's so that people, you know, who speaks French or sp Spanish will know where to click instead of clicking on an English one. So, you know, I thought that was pretty obvious and I'm pretty sure that was pretty obvious for like, you know, a thousand and seven hundred people who, who subscribed uh but to some people might think like oh you know why do you put that you know it's a japanese version i'm like yeah we know it's japanese version that's why i put the language of the video in there but anyways maybe if more people get more confused in the future then i'll start tagging the games that have both versions so for example ultimate ninja blazing if they have japanese version and english version then I'll probably put a tag there so people know. Like for example, Dokken Battle, it has English and Japanese. Then I'll probably put another tag somewhere uh, saying that this is Japanese version of this game, but also including my original English tag so people still know that my videos will be in English instead of French, Spanish, etc. So they know these guides will be in English, all right? 
So uh, I don't think it's necessary at this point, but I just want to bring it up just in case you guys are wondering how come I'm changing the tags of my title and stuff. Uh, that's because I've gotten three inquiries so far uh, regarding that. So if it rises in the future, like more number of people are getting confused, I will start doing that. But hopefully it's still pretty obvious to everyone because I mainly cover games that are in foreign language. So far it's only Japanese. But uh, who knows, I might do other language in the future, but also tagging it in English, all right? So hopefully that clears out everything for people who are confused, who never commented. And for, you know, those three people who are still confused, just want to let you guys know the reason why the title is tagged in English. I'm sorry for all of you guys who hasn't noticed a problem with this or who always knew what that English tag was for. I'm sorry that I've just wasted like three to four minutes of your time talking about it. But anyways, thank you so much for listening. You guys are awesome as always. And if you guys like this video or enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe for more quality content. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything, feel free to comment down below. And as always, I read every single comment and I always reply to every single one of them that requires replying, all right? You know, only in rare cases that YouTube doesn't notify me, then I just don't know that a video has been commented on. All right. So as always, I'll see you all at my next video. Take care and bye now.